if you go to the ISO 20022 website, go to the message catalogs, then to payments, you will find all the XSD files or the XML schema definitions of the payment messages. You can see here, this is the PAX008 message schema. It contains all the descriptions and definitions of all the elements which we encounter in a PAX008 message. So, this is the schema and a PAX008 message created following the schema is its instance. It contains definitions of maybe more than 100 elements. But when an actual PAC008 message is created, it may contain only few of these elements or fields. Only those elements which are necessary to be used for that particular transaction. But whatever elements the PAC008 message instance will contain, those elements must follow the rules defined in this schema. It must follow which elements are mandatory. If any sequence of elements or choice of elements is defined, if any restriction on the value of the elements is defined, all such rules defined in the schema must be followed in the message. You can download this XSD file and open with any text editors like Notepad or Wordpad. You can also use any free XML editor to open it. So, here in the PAC008 message, you can see that there is an element interbank settlement date. If you go to the PAC008 schema, you will find that interbank settlement date will be defined there. Similarly, all the elements that you see in this PAC008 message, what values they can contain are described in the schema.